Hello, today I would like to show you how to make a tea light candle holder of that type with that little window through which you can actually see the light. So what we need for that kind of a project is, of course, we need a glass. So I'm going to be working on this glass here. Of course, it's washed and prepared and what we need is we need some mulberry paper I already have some little scraps that would be easier to apply and just some normal PVA glue to for this uh, part then we need some design and I'm gonna use a napkin and of course you have to remember to use only the top layer of the napkin and I'm gonna use some pieces of that type of a paper which is like a hot print paper with silver so that's and to apply those we need some decoupage glue I'm using this one from Crea Box Marabou but you can use any other decoupage glue that you're comfortable with. Um, to finish off the project, we naturally will need some varnish. I'm going to use some satin finish varnish. Uh, we need some brushes, two or three flat brushes with some water. And then for the finishing touches, ribbon or you can use some beads or any other um, decoration that you might find suitable. So what we do first is we'll start with this part, which means how to make that kind of um, little window. And the easiest way I found is just take a piece of mulberry paper that covers that part of a glass made here. Fold it in four in twice like this and then cut about that size like a kind of a corner and then when you unfold it you have a circle. Um, so we'll start with this part so you decide where you want to this to go probably at that height will be okay and we're gonna use some of the PVA glue for apply this naturally the paper might stretch a little bit so make sure you keep it you help yourself with Stretching it with the fingers there. And also this part here. Don't worry if a bit of glue goes over because you can still just remove it and clean it. So once we have that central part, then we apply the rest of the paper and with the top um, you can either use the pieces of paper that I have like today which have already that straight edge or you can use bigger pieces and then once it's dry just send off the excess of the paper so we start like here and don't worry if some pieces are overlapping because that's not a problem that just adds even to the nice effect with the light shining through so we continue with this keep them close to the edge and just glue Mulberry paper is basically a 
variety of rice paper but it's plain it doesn't have any design on it and it comes usually in just plain white but you can also get it in different colors or cream or sometimes with a bit of golden or silver threads in them and they come in usually a three size sheets all right so here we have the top now we'll proceed with the bottom part and like this it's just I just find it easier if you do the this part of the glass first just under the leg now there and then the remaining parts As I said, it's easier if you have a small, if you have small pieces of the paper ready before you start gluing them. It just saves you time, really. make sure once you have that done you know just to turn the glass around to see if there are any spots that are missing usually there would be some tiny pieces all right so we have basically the base of the glass done now the next thing will be applying the design and as i said I'm gonna use pieces of napkin for this and just decoupage glue. So I prepared two of those little robins and because the design is very very delicate I have extra little pieces of um, some berries to go around. So we'll start with this. So we Put one of them here and just use the decoupage glue to glue the design here. Now as you can see some of that paper is, you can remove the excess of it and then we put another one on this side. I think that will do. And again, just glue it with the coupage glue. Remember to have a nice flat and soft brush for this kind of a job. And I would like to have maybe, all right, let me see, some of those small berries here. And then there, just some extra berries. And as I said, I'm also gonna use some of the silver print paper. And again, I have already some smaller pieces of this when you thinking what you want to decorate the glass with you can 
think of the design and what you might need and just have them ready before you actually start working on it. Right, we'll put this one in here. Oops, too much glue. Mm -hmm. And maybe a little bit more of those berries here. And on the other side. So that's our design. And you can also use something for the top to make that really nice and festive cup um, delight holder. So I'm gonna use some more of those pieces for the top. And it's again the same system, you just glue it with decoupage glue. And you go all the way around the base. And maybe one more there. Right, so that's basically our design. Now, if you feel like you can still use tiny little liquid pearls for the edge all around the little window, as I've done in this one, just a second. Oh, there you can see I used um, what color did I use? I used just the pearl, pearl one here. But that would be the last uh, thing to do. So now we just leave it to dry, and once it's dry, you varnish it. I would give like two three layers of varnish and again as i said you can do the matte uh, or satin or gloss finish um, if you're using this type of a silver print i would suggest um, satin or gloss because matte will just um, it's not gonna be that shiny with the matte finish so that's this and We'll wait till it dries to varnish. Once it's varnished, we can, as I said, decorate the inside of the little window and then attach some ribbon to the bottom, put the little tea light in, and basically that will be it. So we'll take a short break now. All right, so we are back. I have varnished the glass. And now, as I said, the final touches. So for the inside of the little window, we can use some liquid pearls. And again, they come in different colors, different brands. Um, sometimes they're called liquid pearls. Sometimes they are called... Um, um, pearl pants and then there are also contour liners which are very nice to use um, they are a bit thicker and they have very very delicate 
thin and which is which makes it easy to apply so I'm gonna use this one then I decided to go with the white color and I'm just gonna do little just tiny little dots Let's go all the way around. And again, you just leave it to dry for a while. Um, you can use them for the base, you can use them for the top of the glass you can do the dots you can do more elaborate designs with this especially with the contour liners it's very easy and the last thing I'm gonna do is attach the ribbon to the base of the glass and let's see I'm gonna use a bit of silver with this color which corresponds with the robins this one to go around and tie it across here again and then you can just cut off the ends of it light in and that's our glass done so as you can see it's not that complicated at all and you can do plenty of different designs you can go all the way around with the paper of course but like with bigger glasses I really like that effect where you have the tiny little window through which you can actually see the light. Thank you.